to find the salt within us that we might be a savoriness in your heavenly banquet of grace and love and joy in this world. In Christ's name we pray. In fact, 
likely rather change all of us to being in a much lighter space, a space that's going to help us get from those emotional and physical places of darkness. And that's the invitation constantly in the readings we have today. The consequences of living from a narrow vision or a self-interested vision or an angry, violent place, however you frame that, hurt us. We, we feel it in our bodies. It hurts us. It hurts our relationship. But when we're invited to that other place of trying to inoculate <laughs> the world in a place of light, being mindful that we are primarily called to be beings of light. And that's not always easy. And yet we're called to do that. Soldiers going into battle are psychologically prepared in many ways uh, in their training, but one of the ways that they're often prepared is to remember and create for themselves an internal, mental, and emotional place of what connects them as human beings to who they love and what they love. Now here they are in the face of great danger, of real threat, of horrific things around them. And yet what grounds them to not be lost in them is the deeper connection of a much broader vision of who they love and what they love and why they're there. And so that becomes their internal strength, their internal protection, very profoundly. All of us are invited by Christ to create that for ourselves in life, that strength of, I'm about to enter in and I can see a, a difficult situation or, or a place where I've seen unhappy people, whatever that encounter is to go into ourselves and remember what we love, who we love, what we want to be for God. Because when we can do that, we can be a part of what spreads that light. And like the way that flowers respond to the sun that rises, they kind of turn that way, life wants to turn to joy. Life is attracted to light. It's built to respond that way. In this reading that we have where Jesus is from Mark, and he's talking about not being jealous. When someone else has a, a gift of spirit or a gift of outcome that was able to bring something to someone like that, they didn't have with it. To not be jealous. Here he is like, well, this person's carrying people in your name. And he says, well, that's okay. <laughs> because this is the point about healing, about bringing that to other people. Jealousy takes it exactly the wrong way. Competition takes it exactly the wrong way. It's not about that. It's about finding out then what about each person in our talents, in our call, in the way we are in life in which we can find some way to bring that light to people who are experiencing a physical or mental or emotional darkness. It takes so many forms. So it requires so many forms in which to offer healing and reconciliation. And then when he's listing all these things about, well, if this offends you, cut it off. Don't take that literally. <laughs> They sure as heck did for a while in the Middle Ages, and the Elohim got into all kinds of problems. And, and you know, so I won't go there, but they, 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 they did. And the, the thing is, if we look at the linguistics of the time in which this is written, uh, each body part was a symbol of a virtue in life. And so if you, you know, if you attempted to take something from someone that's not yours, thievery of any kind, you know, a joy, stealing someone's joy, stealing something from someone at all, then it'd be better if you just did whatever it took so that you don't make that offense again. 
Don't do it, is the message. If you're seeing something that causes you to have feelings of jealousy or upsetness, it'd be better that you didn't have a way to see it at all. Because the kingdom of heaven invites us constantly to challenge ourselves out of places of darkness and to seek whatever we need to seek and find. Whatever conversations we need to enter into as people of faith so that we can be part of a greater light. It takes all of us, it takes ourselves to do that. Let us be a part of the light of God's grace and not just for ourselves.